Our next test is going to be to test raw read and write speeds of both drives. Right now, as you can see in the top up here, it's a 250 gig 7200 RPM drive. I was mistaken before, this is actually a 4 year old drive instead. So keep that in mind, if your computer is 4 years old, this would be about what you can see in performance trees. Probably more, because I've done a lot of enhancements, I've done a ton of stuff to keep my computer up to speed. So you will start this test right here. I'll fast forward for you guys in this, so you don't have to watch it all. It takes about 3 minutes, but I'll fast forward. Just skip in between. Okay, the test is about over, but to tell you how this program works, over here you have your megabytes per second, or yeah, megabytes per second right here. It shows max of 62.2, as you can see right here, and it had a dip down to about 46, something about there. And then it went back up, and as you can see, as it goes along the drive, it slowly slows down. And then you get dips down here, down to like 30, and it keeps on just going down as you get to the slower part of your hard drive. Now at a solid state, this line should be just straight across. And you'll see that later in this video. But as you can see right here, your access time is also a big deal what makes your... Sorry for that. What makes your ac um, speed on your computer right here. The lower this is, the faster you can multitask, you can open programs faster all at once and everything. Burst rate is just like you open one program real quick, it will burst to that speed. Like here, and CPU usage is like how much CPU doing this test did. Your minimum was 33.3, quite bad actually for modern hard drives compared to modern hard drives and your average is 52.8. I think when I first got this, it might have been an average a little bit higher, but I mean, it could I could be getting the average mix up in the maximum. So I knew it was around 60. So I got a 62.2 maximum. As you can see, and it slowly went down the access time right here. And you can see right here is the test 0 through 100%. And then right here is your milliseconds, like access time in milliseconds to get that speed and such. That's where all these yellow dots are to do the access time test. But now that we've done this, I'm going to skip to the solid state and show you what that can do okay the SSD is now installed and we're gonna do this test again HD tune I'm gonna start it here and you can see we're gonna 198 megabytes per second versus the old 60 megabytes what we were gonna before it and the thing about an SSD is this is gonna be a constant rate going across versus a heart you saw before drop down like this and it had dips this might have a mini dip but nothing like the big like from 60 to 40 like the other one did but like before I'm gonna skip ahead for, for you in this test as well now the test is over as you can see right here this line is fairly consistent and a few dips every once in a while it went a minimum of 190.8 megabytes per second that is three times faster than the maximum of my old drive just to give you a sense of how fast this drive is the average was 197.8 I think the reason it never got above 200 right here is because I think my motherboard is limiting it it's supposed to go up to 250 megabytes per second this specific drive but I think it must be my motherboard I don't have the best motherboard inside this specific computer and I think that limits the speed it's supposed to go up to 145 megabyte write, so I don't think that would be limited. But it seems like the read is on this motherboard, so expect slower or possibly even faster than 200 on your Pacific motherboard. If you look down here, we have your millisecond time 0.3 versus 13. Point whatever it was before. Your burst rate. I said that's what it happens when you open programs, but I don't think so. I'm not quite sure what burst rate means, but I mean 60 degree burst rate, and your average is 200 doesn't make a lot of sense and then you have 1% CPU usage to do this test the advantage of a solid state as you can see the straight line is means every speck of your data is going to get that same 200 megabyte per second read speed versus if on a regular platter drive as the data as your drive gets more full the, dr the data at the end of your drive is going to be slower than if it was on a solid state 
This has been my second test of testing an SSD in my computer compared to a standard hard drive. There's going to be an annotation right in here as well. They continue to the next video or like for a link below if you do not have annotations enabled.